So I gotta make a confession. I didn't even go to the Van Gogh Museum when I was in Amsterdam. But today we're going to the World of Van Gogh Exposition right here in Barcelona. The World of Van Gogh is an immersive art experience that is only in Barcelona until March 21st. If you haven't been yet or wondering if it's worth the visit, join me as I Van Gogh myself to help you decide. What's up guys, Patrick here, tour guide and your guide to Barcelona and more. Back with another Is It Worth It video where we're gonna go over to the World of Van Gogh immersive exhibition that's being held over at the Arena Shopping Center. We're gonna go check it out and see if it's worth it on your next trip to Barcelona. The best way to get to the exhibit is to hop on either the green or red metro lines over to the Plaza España stop. Take any exit because Arenas is just on the outside. If you've never been over to the Arena Shopping Center, it's one of the old bull rings here in Barcelona that you can see has a bunch of different stores. It's right in the Plaza España and it's got some really nice views from the dome up top. That's also where we're gonna go check out the exhibit. Once inside, you have four different sections that give you an overview all about Van Gogh's life and all of his different works. Personally, I think I know the basics of Van Gogh, like he painted A Starry Night and cut off his ear, but it's really nice that in this first room they give us a lot of information so we can understand what we're going to be seeing a little bit later. So one of the first things that jumps out to me right away is that he was born a year to the day of his brother who had died at birth, which is something that basically happened to Dali as well. So it's really interesting that they share that in common. So if you're here with kids, they've also got a room where they can pretty much practice and try to be their own Van Goghs. Maybe we should try one out ourselves. So there it is, the masterpiece. What do you guys think? Let me know with a comment below. And after painting, you can actually become part of the art itself. I'm part of the cafe terrace at night right now. So you've got a few really good activities that if you're here with kids, they'll definitely enjoy, but now it's time for the big show. And this is where the real immersion into the world of Van Gogh takes place. So it's pretty cool that you can see all of his different paintings and the idea that they have the movement added in gives you a whole different feel. The music is also a really nice touch. What really separates a trip here from a typical museum is the movement in each of the paintings that allows you to experience them in a different way. But the projection is more than just on screen. It's also all around you, which forces you to be inside of each of the paintings as well. With so much to see all around, I felt like my head was on a swivel just to take it all in. So I personally thought that was really cool. The video lasted about 40 minutes in total and we got a lot of his different works and a narration along the way with music that was on point. Some immediate reactions after having just checked out the exhibit. I personally had a great time and thought that all four of the different rooms brought something else to the table. I can't go as far as to say that it's gonna be one of those top 10 things to do in Barcelona, but if you're living here and looking for some sort of different activity, or if you're traveling with kids and looking to keep them entertained while you're enjoying it yourself, it's definitely something that you should check out. And when you do finish that exhibit, the next thing you're going to want to do is jump outside and check out the 360 degree terrace that gives you great views of Plaza España and Barcelona as a whole. So if you're looking to reserve tickets for the world of Van Gogh beforehand, I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you're looking for other things to do while you're here in Barcelona, check out the link to the playlist above. 